Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and I'm from the Queen of Mirth and I'm very happy to have you with me today. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a five hole pamphlet stitch which is a very handy one to have. Um, the reason I'm making a five hole pamphlet stitch binding for this particular book is that I want it to be um, a little, I want it to be really secure. And it's the fourth video that I've made in this series where I am creating a junk journal photo album as a birthday gift for my niece. And I'm so happy, I'm gonna tell you guys, um, since I started this, in fact, it was just yesterday I found out that she's expecting a baby. Oh, I, we're so happy about that. So somehow or other in here, I'm going to have something, maybe I'll just journal something to her about how wonderful it will be to have a, another little baby in our family. Just, it's so great. And this will be her first child. So anyway, here we go. Um, what I use for my pamphlet stitch, or, or pretty much anyone, I just want to show you the materials I'm going to be using. I have a tapestry needle. I have some bulldog clamps, two, and then a third little clamp that I like very much, and I probably will use that too. I have an awl and some waxed linen thread. And scissors. I think that's all I'm going to need. Anyway, let's get going here. Um, I've, I have shown you this particular book before, but um, I'll, and what I'll do is I'll flip through it very, very quickly after I finish doing this, the, the binding. Um, I really like it. I think that it's going to be great. I have to find the middle though. Um, where is the middle? I know the middle is yellow. So what? what is going on here? Yes, 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 I found it. Okay, now I've got it all popping around in different directions, but that's okay. Um, before I started the video, I made sure that all of the pages are here and that I have them more or less lined up. Um, not more or less, that I have them lined up. But I have to just make sure that it's all on the inside of the cover and that there's pretty much an equal distance between the book pages and the outsides of the covers. Yeah, that's good. Now, I want to what I want to do is I want to push in here really well to make sure that it's in there. And then a lot of people don't clip their books when they're binding them, but I just don't trust myself. I, I like to have it nice and secure and so I know it's not flying around on me. Just want to make sure that that the that all the pages are folded into and nestled right into the um, the fold of the cover. And if when every when it's all said and done, if if um, you know a page or two is showing over you know outside of the cover, if you don't like that look, it's okay to leave it the way it is if you like it. But if you don't like it, you can always trim it by either cutting with the scissors or perhaps um, um, tearing with your hands. I like the torn look quite a bit on a lot of things. Now I'm gonna eyeball it. Some people measure to get the very center, but what you want, this is a seven hole. We want seven holes here. So, and I, like I said, I eyeball it. I don't think it matters. But some people like to measure so that they know that they've got it exactly in there. Now let's, let, the first one to do is the middle. I'm not too crazy. 
as you hold that. There, that's better. Okay, that's read on center. And you might have to wiggle a little bit, but there. That's a nice center hole. Now I'll make one about here and one about here. They're be they're about an inch or an inch and a half from the end. Okay, that's I think good. And right in the center, right in the fold, you put it in. And the same here. And like I said, it doesn't have to be totally, completely exact, but you want it to look kind of symmetrical. That's a good one. Now the next, the next set, so we have three now, we want to be pretty much equal distance, pretty much equal distance between the bottom one and the middle one. So that looks pretty good to me. So this is the fourth hole. And then the fifth hole is the same, about pretty much equal distance between the top and the middle holes. That's perfect. Now, if you don't have an awl, that doesn't matter. You can use a thumbtack. They work really well. You just press it down and, and it, it works just fine. Or you can use a needle. You're gonna need a, a needle like, like this or you know some similar one. I have, I have the tapestry needle because it has a very um, large eye and it's easy to thread. And it's also large because you, you don't want a small needle for this job. Okay. Um, but, you know, you can just use this needle to make the holes. Um, I've done that many times. I like to have a thimble as well if I'm doing that, though, because it's it hurts the finger when you, when you poke or press. Now, the next job is to find my thread. And, okay, we're going to measure it. This is crazy. My dog actually got hold of this, and I fortunately was able to rescue it, but he pulled out some of the thread. Um, okay, so I, mean, I, I usually do two and a half or maybe even three lengths. The worst thing is to not have enough. And I'd often like to make a nice big bow when I um, finish, like to finish it in the middle. So there's two, and here I'm gonna make three. And I will thread it. The wax thread, of course, threads much easier than the not wax thread, but it doesn't really matter. Embroidery cotton is Embroidery floss, it's called, is also really good and it's never waxed. So yeah, you can use all different things for your for your thread. But the linen thread is traditional for book binding, but we're not always traditional people. Now it's not wanting to go through because it's I guess the hole is a bit smaller than the needle, but that's fine, I got it. So we go, okay, I want my, I want the tail or the end to be in the middle of the book, on the inside of the book. And so that's why I start from the inside. If you want to have it on the outside, however, just go the other way uh, and, um, and 
you know, put the, put the, leave the, you'll have the tail here. Okay. See, I'm going to leave a fair amount. There. Okay. Next, we go into the, I'm going to, this is upwards or downwards. Okay, this, this is upwards. Okay, I'm going to go into the middle one, the middle top one. It's not the middle one. It's the, the next one going up. and taut. Okay. Now I'm going to go in this one. going to go in this one. Seems to be something stuck on my thread here. A little something like a piece of dust. Not dust. I don't know what it is. Okay. A flake of something. doubled so gotta start pulling it up a bit okay now now we are here and I that's okay. sorry <laughs> now we are here because I'm doing the top one first it doesn't matter you can do the bottom one first and what I do is I bypass the I'm going to bypass the middle one and go into this one, which is the one closest to the middle, going toward the bottom. Finding it easier to get it through if I press on the table. and it went a little sideways on me. There, that's it. That's the right hole. Okay. Now, I make sure everything's nice and tight. Not too tight, but tight. Not too loose. Okay, now, um, I go in this one that's closest to the middle. Now we're just about done. We go into the middle.
and bring it out on the opposite side from where it went in, like the opposite side of this thread. That's the only thing you have to be careful of. Now, why is it over there? Because I'm not doing this straight. So we want it to come right there. And that's pretty much it, my friends. Um, what I have to do is make sure it's not loose anywhere. It's good. And it's good here. So I'm going to just cut this off like that. And I will make, see the one side of the, once one, one end is on this side of the middle, the other end is on the other side of the middle. And then we tie the knot, um, tying up the middle thread. And we do a square knot, um, right left over right and under, then right over left and under, or the other way around. With this particular thread, I don't need to do another one, but one good thing to do is to kind of squish the knot so that if, if it's a waxed if thread, the wax will kind of glom into, it, into itself all around in the knot, and it makes it very secure and it flattens the knot. And then I think what I'll do is just cut the ends like so. Wonderful. And that is the five hole pamphlet stitch. Now, just okay. Now, this is the book. This is the book, the basic photo album. And in my next video, I'm going to be putting some pockets and belly bands and tuck spots, that sort of thing, into the, into the book, fixing it to, to various pages. But I'm pretty happy with it. I, I think that she'll like that. This, this is from the original photo album that... I took the pictures out of. My niece loves these particular this particular set of photos. Um, when she was about, I don't know, nine years old, she lived in Providence, Rhode Island, and I lived in Vancouver, which I still do. And in any event, she um, her dad taught at university in Providence. And my daughter, who was about 16 at the time, and I, took a trip and we went and visited that, the, her, my niece and her family. And I took a lot of photos and she loves those photos and she doesn't have any photos herself of the house that they lived in back then and everything. So I thought I would just give them to her and put them in this book to do that. Half of the book is going to be Vancouver and the other half is going to be Providence. And this particular center is, is um, a program from something that we went, a museum had a Beethoven night and it's called Beethoven 1809 and we all attended it. And so I thought I would include that and have it in the center. So on, I'm not sure which is gonna be first and which is gonna be last, but let's just say, this half might be Providence, and then this half would be Vancouver photos. And it, they'll be mainly of her childhood. So thank you so much for being with me. 
and I hope that anybody who needed to figure out how to do a, a um, five hole pamphlet stitch, I hope it was helpful. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. And please press the like button if you like the video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for being with me on this journey today. Take care now. Bye.